Hello and welcome to another ATP Geopolitics video with myself, Jonathan, MSP. This is a quick breaking news update to follow on from what I've been talking about over the last couple of days with breaking news updates on both days concerning the Ivan Kurz reconnaissance ship. This is a naval reconnaissance ship that the Russians claimed that was attacked by three maritime drones and produced footage to show one drone getting blown up. And then that was allowed to settle for a day until the Ukrainians released this footage to show that the uh, the the ship was indeed hit somewhere near the stern towards uh, the back of the ship in what could be described as a very useful place to hit the ship. Um, and yeah, you can see there the the footage ends as one assumes the drone blows up. This then has caused the Russians to try and hit back. There is so much footage going around. Meanwhile, Russian sources claim the ship has entered Sevastopol Bay today with no signs of damage. One of the videos shows a port side, ship's port side, which must have been damaged. Some Russian sources claim the video is old, but it's not confirmed so far. So there is that uh, piece of video footage. Uh, there are, let's have a look at others. I think um, below here we have pro-Russian sort of voices saying here is yeah so here's that bit of footage out of the window of a uh a ferry or something just passing by showing the ship there again there is absolutely no way of being able to confirm the dating for that um I don't know whether that weather is the same as this weather here because this is another uh, claim that the Ivan Kurz is entering Sevastopol uh, port under its own uh, power. Uh, it's not being towed. There appears to be nothing wrong with it. Okay, so you get all these sort of counterclaims from the Russians, um, but there have been further claims that, that really need to be discussed. So where shall we start? I guess if we go to no reports, Russian sources claim that the event occurs returning to the, this is it returning to Sevastopol port at least strange as early this morning Igor Gherkin shared information that the event occurs allegedly is being towed by the vessel commander, which still sits in the same location since yesterday. So this is this uh, vessel there, the commander that is sitting close to where supposedly or at where apparently the Ivan Kurz was hit. This is e Evil Gherkin, who's sometimes a lot more honest about the information than Russians would like him to be. As you can see, that possibly is some 40 kilometers north of here is the Bosphorus uh, Strait. And that's a commander, the the some kind of you know large uh, towing vessel. So if we go and have a look at this, Evil Kurz was attacked by five instead of three kamikaze drones, and that two hit the vessel, and that she's severely damaged and at risk of sinking. Uh, they then go on to further state casualties. One officer was killed, five enlisted killed, two of them were thrown overboard, and uh, the four drowned in the engine room. Okay, so let's go and have a look at what the claims are, and this is by some open source intelligence here. Um... Russian uh, intelligence uh, uh, schizo. Uh, Russian telegram is saying that this morning Ivan Kurz was attacked by five instead of three kamikaze boats, and all of the all of that details we just spoke about there. Uh, see my tweet last night. In terms of the damage from the one drone uh, that we have confirmation of hitting the vessel, I have no idea if a second drone hit not uh, where along the ves ve vessel, nor where along the vessel. Um, uh, concerning preliminary damage, his assessment is that that drone would have caused some pretty serious damage. So this is assessment from yesterday. Uh, my assessment of area likely damaged yesterday by the Ukrainian kamikaze drone on the Yuri Ivanov class intelligence ship project A18280, Ivan Kurz. Uh, the Ukrainian kamikaze drones are assessed to be capable of carrying 400 pounds of explosives. That's similar to the amount of explosives used against the USS Cole. So you don't you remember the USS Cole was hit uh, and really severely damaged um, some years back in uh, the Gulf of Oman, is it? Uh, this is a similar amount of explosives used to with that and the damaged the damage would likely be similar to uh, of up to a 40 to 60 foot hole 
40 by 60 foot hole, the drone hit a stern likely above a segment of the tail shaft damage, likely also damaging the propeller and a segment of the hull just above and below the waterline. Um, and so somewhere in that area of the ship. Um, and a lot of talk about here in this particular thread about what damage would have been caused. The area hit should have decent watertight integrity as it's a modern ship. I expect the compartments to be designed well. It just comes down to crew training, discipline to maintain that. Great place to target. If uh, the prop shafts survive, the steering gear should be out of action. Uh, if the shaft seals fail, the tail shaft would be pumping water into the ship uh, and it could result in a flooding of other compartments, so on and so forth. So lots of sort of converse, conversation about what would happen. That is what happened to uh, the coal, a uh, big, big old hole there. Uh, someone else saying there are three components to consider the crew competence. Uh, so the Mosca, the Mosfer uh, crew panicked and the ship caught fire. Uh, ship maintenance, Russian crews are never 100%. And ship design or build, Russian officers and oligarchs steal everything. So, you know, it really does depend uh, on a whole load of variables as to, as to what may or may not have happened. And then we get this second video here. And this is obtained by the Ukrainska Pravda showing the alleged detonation of the uh, of the um, naval drone on the Ivan Kurs. Uh, this is obviously from a great, you know, really long distance away from the ship. Don't know what the provenance of this video is, but something definitely happened. Uh, there are, uh, there is an explosion uh, that you can see at the beginning. Uh, as I let it play through again, there we go. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's quite difficult to work out. And then another explosion there exactly what's going on you can see it down at the uh, stern of the the ship uh, and it could be where that that took place where the drone hit the other side of the ship so it, it appears to indicate that a drone definitely did hit there um uh, striking the other side so there's a, there's a lot to consider in exactly what happened um with this second video it says intel schizo uh, video showing an explosion got to say that there is um likely a hole a fifth the size of the ship on top of the tail shaft the propeller destroyed very hard time to keep this ship afloat if it's accurate that two of these kamikaze drones hit ivan Kurz, he's in for a very bad day 880 pounds of high explosives against a 4,000 ton vessel ouch then you had the tail shaft being destroyed it's literally going to be pumping water into the ship across middle compartments along with the hole in the hull um uh, so uh, there you go so in reply, this person said, there's nothing saying that the Russian supply vessel commander is saving the spy ship. Ivan Kurz, commander, has been working on the pipeline straight under it for the last half a year. S second picture shows her track since midnight, May the 23rd. No odd movements or uh, no odd movements, expected ones. And then Intel Schizo says in reply, 415 kilometers or thereabouts from strike location to Sevastopol. This class of ship can do a bit less than 40 kilometers an hour at its absolute best. So Ivan Kurz docking less than 11 hours from its return trip start is physically impossible. And yesterday they acknowledged that the ship was damaged and having to be towed. So it, if that's true, then it's only traveling at like five kilometers per hour, also physically impossible for it to have returned to port within 24 hours. It would be great if you guys stopped sharing footage from 2020 and 2021 if of the ship entering port in Istanbul and Sevastopol, thank you. Also, I would like to know from the Russian propagandists, when did the vessel enter port? Because you told me it entered port yesterday with no damage. So how could the vessel enter port today if it already entered port yesterday? Um, uh, so on and so forth. And the, these arguments just go on and on. So if it's developing, uh, I'll try and keep on top of uh, what's going on. But it is interesting that um, people like e Evil Gherkin are saying, you know, are telling people that, uh, well, exactly what I've said earlier, that it that it was attacked by five drones, two of them hit. 
uh, as as the translation Google translation here says, first the ship was attacked by five kamikaze sea drones. Three were destroyed. Two hit the ship and made two holes in it. Ivankos did not sink, but was seriously damaged, and now there is a threat that he will sink or she will sink. Uh, secondly, the repair of the ship can take from six months to a year. That this seriously weakens our positions throughout the Black Sea and expands expands the enemy's ability to attack Black Sea fleet ships both on the high seas and in Sevastopol and other ports our fleet is not ready to effectively deal with enemy unmanned boats thirdly five ordinary sailors and one officer were killed during the attack two fell into the sea uh, from the impacts of the drones and drowned four died in the engine room of the ship where one of the strikes uh, fell so that is the the exact translation or at least a google uh, translation of what was said in the telegram post so that's what I know so far. Hopefully that was of use to you. This is a develop, developing situation. There are going to be people fighting on both sides for control of that narrative uh, and the information space. It seems very likely that the, the footage we are seeing of the ship returning to port is not recent footage i would i would think that would it's highly unlikely although russians will want you to believe that and uh, those again it's going to be confirmation bias if that's where you sit you're going to be believing that and if you are pro ukrainian you're going to be believing that it's damaged trying to assess all the data and get a a, a coherent picture of exactly what took place anyway that's what i know uh, take care and i'll and i'll speak to you soon